Hi folks, in this video we're gonna go through a code, code example um, that's in the official ReactJS document and the code is titled Dynamic Context I've transferred the code to the sandbox for demonstration so it renders two buttons if you click on the first one it toggles between light background to dark background and the second button does nothing it stays dark let's have a look at the first file called steam context js it contains a themes object that contains the styling information for the light and dark theme and you export that themes and the second thing you export is called theme context and you create it with the default value of themes.dark which is this one so if you do themes.dark.background it will return this hex value let's move on to app.js file okay before you do anything you have here you imported the theme context and the themes object and the themed button okay let's have a look at the app component first inside the app component you have defined a state with the theme property in this case it's set to themes.light remember we have imported both of them at the top and we have also defined a callback function called toggle theme um, this is assigned to the button so that every time you click on the first button it invokes this callback function called toggle theme and what does it do it updates the value of the theme property of the state um, so that if it is set to light then it toggles to being dark and if it was set as dark it toggles to being light so that's what it does let's look at the rendering of the app component so this is rendering of the first button and this is for the second the main difference is that the first button has been wrapped by what's called provider in this case theme context provider and the theme context provider has a value prop that overrides the default value you know that the default value of the theme context is set to themes.dark in this case um, the value of the theme context has been dynamically overridden with the theme property of the store okay so you can guess every time toggle theme is invoked it changes the, the stage theme property and in turn that changes the value of the theme context okay so that's why it's called dynamic context example okay 
So uh, this dynam dynamic dynamically assigned context value is passed down to the to the children that are wrapped by the provider. In this case, just toolbar. Okay. So if you consume your theme context um, here inside toolbar, the value of the theme context will be whatever assigned to the value prop. Okay. So that's why um, the styling is passed down to the toolbar and ultimately to the theme button here dynamically so that every time you click on it it styling uh, goes back and forth okay that's not the case for the second button because um, firstly it is not um, wrapped by the provider so it results to being it results to using the default value which is theme dot doc so that's why um, every time the app is rendered the second button's background is dark okay you see a toolbar here so let's look at what toolbar does toolbar is a functional component that renders a theme button and the toolbar is is uh, only to do with the first button because that's what is rendered here right um, to the theme button it passes along the on click prop and, and assigns it the toggle theme uh, callback function so this defines a event listener when the button the first button is clicked it toggles the um, theme property of the state okay so let's look at the theme button itself here you have imported the theme context to consume its value or, or to access its value to do that you have to do line 16 you have to set the context type prop of the theme button to be the theme context the context that you want to consume and you can see uh, firstly the button inherits all the props so uh, for the first button the prop only prop that that's inherited is on click um, for the second button um, Let's see. Yes, for the second button, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, um, this is only when the toolbar is rendered. Here, you rendering the the theme button directly, so you you don't pass any prop. So, um. For the second button, there's there's no prop to be passed, but that's all right. Okay, and uh, you can see here you're setting the style specifically its background color of the button to be this dot context dot background. Okay, yeah. So um, this is how you consume the value of the theme um, of the theme context so uh, as a consequence when you click on the first button because of this on click pro it invokes this toggle theme callback which in turn toggles the value of the theme prop of the state 
which in turn overrides the value of the theme context um, so that when this toolbar is rendered and ultimately the first button is rendered its styling um, is dynamically changed according to the state theme value okay same thing for the second button but in this case it's not wrapped by a provider so it resorts to the default value which is themes.dark and similarly um, for the second value the background color would be um, themes.dark and it stays that way okay um, this is a basic usage of um, dynamic um, context um, but it's a little confusing and I've tried to make it clear as I can um, if you have any questions um, I'll cover that too thank you so much see you next time